What's going on guys? It is Andrew here. Welcome back to the forest part 20. Wow, that is a lot of parts and it, it just works out so perfectly that part 20, like a awesomely even number 20 parts, will be the last part that we will ever see this base. It's been a good base. By the way, I asked you guys to name this base in the comment section below and... You guys, you guys sent in like literally hundreds and hundreds of suggestions, but one stick stuck out to me and I thought it was hilarious and we're going to go with it, especially since it's going to be the last time we're going to see this base, so it doesn't need to be a serious name, it just needs to make me laugh, and it did, and it's Fort Flapjacks, named after our favorite enemy slash cannibal, Bethany Flapjacks. So, Fort Flapjacks, you were good to me, Tower, I didn't get to use you much, if you're wondering why this is the last time we're going to see this, it's because... Today is the last day of Alpha 0.01, .01 or 0 0.1, the, the first Alpha. So tomorrow, the update is going to come out. It's going to wipe out everything we have here. Don't worry about it. Don't give up on this series. I will get back to where we were really, really, really quickly. So tomorrow's episode will be going over the new features. And, uh, you know, tomorrow's episode will be very general, uh, very <clears throat> kind of vague. If that makes sense, like, we're not going to do one thing, we're going to do, hopefully, everything that is new. Unless there's a lot of new things, but I'm expecting it's going to be some new things and, a, excuse me, a lot of bug fixes. So, in this episode, I thought, Andrew, what would be a perfect way... What the heck? My inventory actually saved. Look at that, it, my inventory saved one of the time... The only time I didn't need it to save. <laughs> Oh, man. <clears throat> but in this episode, I figured what would be a better way to wrap up this alpha than to have a lot of fun. So instead of building, since we're going to lose all of our progress anyways when the game updates, what we're going to do is we're going to get some bombs, we're going to get some molotovs, uh, and we are going to head into the caves, and we're just going to blow shit up. I think you guys can all agree that that would be an awesome way to wrap up this alpha. And um, it's it's been awesome, guys. Like the support you've shown my channel and the support that you guys have shown this series over the you know duration of uh, from when this game launched on the 30th of May to today on the what 15th of June. So in 15 days, it's been kind of uh, overwhelming. But uh, you know, I welcome all of you new people and to the people who were here previously. Thank you so much for all your support. And I hope you uh, you know carry on to watch this channel. Um, although, like I said, that this is the, <clears throat> excuse me, the final part of this alpha, tomorrow there will still be a forest video, it'll just be a new beginning, a new, what I hope to be awesome, uh, beginning. Um, one thing they did, like I, I mentioned before in a previous video that I follow the developers on Twitter, one of the developers said, because uh, they don't want to give away too much you know, information about the update, they want people to be excited for it, which is good, I like that. Um, I like the anticipation of sitting here and refreshing my Steam list to see when the update's gonna come out, and then being like, oh my god, an update, and then hopping in and seeing the patch notes and seeing what is updated. Uh, so one of the things they said is gonna be new, they didn't say it is going to be new, but they said on this boat over here, this sailboat, they said that there's gonna be a new object. They said, just look out for the sailboat. There will be something new on the sailboat. And then it got me thinking... I really hope it isn't the flare gun. Like, I hope that they know that we know the flare gun is under the boat. <laughs> because if they if they think that we don't know it, that it's there and then they put it on the boat and they're like, surprise, there's a flare gun, I'm going to be really upset. I'm going to be like, oh, but we already knew about this flare gun. <laughs> you guys just screwed up and put it in the ocean instead of on the boat. But I'm hoping it's something awesome and new. Um... One thing that's not going to necessarily help us in terms of productivity or speed, but I kind of do hope they add, is uh, rope. So obviously, if you like open the book and go to, let's say, um, um, well, traps, let's say traps. So for example, it says the noose trap requires five string or rope. Um, I hope they actually add it. I mean, obviously, it would take a lot of time to gather rope and whatnot, but... It's just another thing that they like that I want them to add to this game. It'll make the game more complete. It'll make it harder su to survive, and it'll make you a lot more frugal with your resources. You're not just gonna want to waste all this rope on you know making this or this or this because you know you got to be more strategic. You got to think to yourself, oh man, I need this rope because you know I need to make a noose or you know just you know just thinking out loud here. I like I like the whole aspect of 
of being really uh, strategic with your resources. That's what made games back in the day, like Resident Evil, Silent Hill, those kind of horror games, they weren't, it wasn't about jump scares. What made those games really scary was like the fact that you had six bullets and you knew there was like four zombies on the other side of the door. <laughs> that is what made that game scary. You knew that if you wasted those bullets, you'd be screwed. And I kind of want the forest to be the same way. I want it to be like, oh shit, my plane crashed on this island. We need to be very, very smart about how we're going to survive because these cannibal people really want to eat me. <laughs> and I really don't want to be eaten. Yeah, mud. Yeah, that's going to help us on our awesome voyage into the... Into the, uh, into the abyss. Into the caves. I really hope they expand the caves as well. And I know it's really soon, but I hope they start adding a little bit, like, you know, um, I believe in, like, part one or even part two. It was really early on in the series when I was still exploring this, this big giant world we have here. If you swim out to those islands, most of them will say this area is not accessible yet in this, uh, version of the game. I want them to start unlocking more islands. Um, I hope that the boat is craftable in the next update. I get comments on every video, despite how many times I say it. And I'm not saying, you know, you guys are, like, annoying or anything. But all I'm saying is, boats are not currently craftable, guys. <laughs> but yeah, I really want to, like, just drive that home. That I cannot make boats. You guys are always asking me, make boats. Make boats, make boats. I can't. <laughs> okay, so, um... Circuit board, booze, coins, bomb. Beauty. Circuit boards, coins, booze, bomb. <laughs> Molotovs. Gather up all the Molotovs we can. Because we are going on a little death parade here, guys, in the final alpha version of the forest. It's been, a, it's been a very fun ride, though, despite all the bugs and everything. It's going to be, like, kind of bittersweet, you know? Because although I hated the bugs... How much... How many Molotovs do I have? Like, is this a glitch? I think this is a glitch of some sort. I am not... Oh, 17 and 8. Okay, so it's not a glitch. I just have a lot. Oh, no, it's a glitch. Still have 17 and 8. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, we're gonna eat one of these because our stamina is a little low and uh, we have our explosives We have Molotovs apparently unlimited Molotovs which just adds to the fun and we are going to go and blow some shit up Actually, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna kill some lizards on the way Just add a little bit of armor Make it a little more fun. I do apologize if this isn't what you guys want to see for the last episode. And like, for some of you really don't like when I pr play recklessly or whatnot, but just my logic behind it is why am I going to keep building a base or keep, you know, trying to survive so hard if, regardless of how well I do, I could build the world's biggest tower, I could survive an extra five days in this episode, I'm going to lose all of that progress in a matter of a couple hours. And by tomorrow we won't have any of that progress anyways, so why not just burn some shit? <laughs> you know, I, I'm sure a lot of you agree with me, and I'm sure some of you disagree, but I just feel like throwing explosives at things, and even though that this is part 20, you guys have not seen me use an explosive yet in this series. So, I'm sure some of you are dying to see it. You've probably seen it on, you know, different videos or if you own the game you've probably done it yourself but on this series here the delta squad has not seen me throw an explosive at anything so here is i'm gonna use the flashlight here is the first cave where i believe this is the i believe this is the monster that has like nine legs this is like the octopus guy now i've been reading in the comments i don't know since we haven't actually tried killing this I don't know if this one can actually die. Yep, this is the octopus monster thing. <laughs> hey there, rover. Come on over. Oh my god. And... <gasps> that was a fail, because it moved. Stay there. Stay.
No? Nothing? <laughs> you son of a bitch. What? This thing is literally <laughs> invincible. This thing is invincible. Nope. Things do not affect this monster. I'm burning your giant vagina that you have, and you're not dying. Nope. This mo this monster doesn't die! Ah! Oh my god, this monster doesn't die. This monster doesn't die. This monster does not die. Okay, we are getting out of here. We are getting out. Getting out of here. You might be wondering, what the heck are you doing all the way over here? You said you were going into the freaking caves. You lying bastard. Well, I actually restarted the game since those explosives were completely useless and I do want to see them work. And while I was in the process of restarting the game, I thought to myself, well, I might as well go look for the modern axe as well so we can just have a completely full episode of modern axe, molotovs, explosives, and all kinds of awesomeness. So yeah, I'll see you guys in one second when I do have the modern axe. Here we are. Within Tennis Village is what I call this place because of all the <laughs> absolutely decimated tennis players. Look at that lizard. He's like, I'm getting the hell out of here. And this lizard's like, pushy. <laughs> There's like five lizards here. Okay, um, it should be right over here in the ground. Boom. Boom shakalaka. The reason I like the modern axe is because you can block with it, so it's like, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> oh my god. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Alright, so I guess I'll see you guys inside the caves. Goodbye, Casa La Delta. Goodbye, Fort Flapjack. Goodbye. <laughs> it's so hard saying goodbye to something you love, you know? And like, it's... So much hard work and, and, and good things and bad things have happened in there. <sighs> <sighs> Honestly, though, in my opinion, I don't think you can disagree that, you know, progress in this series has been pretty great. I mean, although we do have 20 parts, so I'd like to hope that there would be some progress. We've, we've gotten a lot done. I mean, we've pretty much gone over every collectible item, resource... Everything you can do in the forest, we've pretty much done it over the last 20 episodes. We've shed tears of joy. We've shed tears of happiness. And now I can't find the plane. <gasps> oh, one thing you guys have, uh, when I was asking you guys for, there we go, I know where the plane is. I was asking you guys for names of my base, and a lot of people were saying, like, I, I, di I did get this comment a bunch of times, so I can't really credit one person for it, but I thought it was hilarious. Um... They said that the plane should be uh, Delta Airlines because Delta Airlines, of course, is an actual very, very famous and very, very rich airline company in the United States of America. Jeez, there's the plane. I asked for a bigger island, but I don't know if I mean it. I don't know if I mean it because, man, this island is already big. It's hard to find stuff. All right, bang, boom. Bing. Bong, bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. Two explosives, and we have no cloth for Molotovs, but that's okay. Alright, I've said this like seven times already, but I will see you guys inside the caves, unless something happens and I talk again, which is probable. Alright, like I said, something might happen. Like we get one-shotted? I just collected everything! I just collected everything! Oh my god! <laughs> I got one-shotted. I got one I don't care about dying as much as I care about the fact that I just got one-shotted after I ran around collecting everything. Look at this little group of bandits. Look at this little group of rap scallions. Just patrolling the beach thinking I'm not going to get this flare gun. <laughs> Good one, okay? I've had it enough. I've had it up to I've had it up to higher than I can even reach. That is how much I've had it up to with you already, okay? So leave me alone, Beth. Leave me alone. Of course I can run along the floor of the ocean. If you, if you kill me, I will be so <laughs> freaking furious. Morning, you Beth. I am freaking 
warning you. As you guys can see, it's like pitch black outside because that is how long it's taken me to gather resources. Come out of the water. Get out here. Show yourself. Okay? You see how serious I am now? Well, we're going to start off with Molotovs. Because I just want to just f f throw some shit at someone right now. So, let's see. Yep, I see someone down there glowing. I see someone. What are you praying to? Are you, who are you praying to? The fire gods? You idiots. Ah! Ugh, burn! Die! Yes! All of the glitches and all of the game crashes and all of the deaths were now worth it. Because I will freaking incinerate you all. I want to find those big ones. Not the vagina octopus monster, but the other tentacle monsters. I want to find them. Nope, nope, nope. This is not an e I do not want an exit. I want to kill and destroy everything. <laughs> Where are you? What? So a bunch of you just spawned out of nowhere? Yeah, that's right. Not anymore. Not anymore, you didn't. And <gasps> God, I forgot about that glitch. Gah! Don't die. Don't die. I'm actually not even losing any health. Oh, I am, but just a little bit. Whew. That could have been embarrassing. Why can't I? I was. <laughs> I am one glitch away from losing my mind. Whew. Okay. Who the hell's down here? Oh, we are out of Molotovs. Fear not. We have flares. <laughs> Where I I need to find the freaking tentacle guys. Those are the only ones I currently care about. People say they can die. And we will find out in this episode, the last episode of this alpha. Before something changes, why is my flashlight facing the wall? Thank you. What? Why are you doing that? I'll find you guys. I will. No, I see like a flashlight. I don't think that's the tentacle, guys. Wait, 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 wait. I remember this like flat land. Nope. Nope, nope. Guys. Just a bunch of burning cannibals. That's all. Oh, oh! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, okay, I've never been to this part of the cave. There is tentacle, guys. Just in case. Why did he throw a bomb? I hate that glitch. I absolutely hate that glitch. Okay. Nope. Screw you, big guy. These guys are the ones that are my victims. Yes! <laughs> they blew up. They blew up. <laughs> oh my god. That was actually satisfying. And now, guys, I end this episode and this alpha with a final goodbye. <laughs> Why aren't you killing me? I'm right here. I'm, like, literally giving you my soul. I'm like, take me. Take me with you. Well, that's, that's very anticlimactic. I wanted to die. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There were so many glitches. This was about two hours, two and a half hours of recording down to this episode. So I, I'm, I hope you enjoy it. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you guys for sticking with me through this alpha. You guys have been so freaking supportive. Um, you know, like I said, from, from when this game released to now, I can't even thank you guys enough. 
Um, but it isn't over, just this version is over. I'll see you guys tomorrow when the new update comes out. Hopefully there's lots of new things for me to show off to you guys. I love your faces, stay awesome. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Bye bye